water substance at 70 bar and 65 degrees C enters a boiler tube of constant inside diameter of 35 millimeters. Let's write that down. 35 millimeters is equal to 0 0.035 meters. The water leaves the boiler tube at 50 bar and 700 Kelvin at a velocity of 100 meters per second. Looks like our exit velocity is 100 meters per second. Calculate the inlet volume flow rate in liters per second. That's Q1 in liters per second. And we're given the steam properties properties on the lower area here. So whenever something enters or leaves something, it usually means we're going to have to use the law of conservation of mass. So let's assume this is our boiler. On the left side is our inlet. On the right side is our outlet. And at the inlet we have a specific volume of 0 0.001017 cubic meters per kilogram and on the other side we have 0 0.06081 cubic meters per kilogram so how do we find our volume flow rates first we need to remember that whatever mass that goes in the boiler is the mass that will go out of it. Let's say this is our mass flow rate. And we know that we can get the mass by multiplying the volume flow rate by the density of a substance. But we also know that the density is simply the reciprocal of our specific volume. And of course, this applies on the right side as well. And if you remember the continuity equation, we know that Q1 is equal to A1, which is the cross-sectional area of our uh, pipe. Same for the other side. And if you remember, it was mentioned that the boiler tube has constant inside diameter. So the inlet area is actually equal to the outlet area. Sorry, this is supposed to be 2. But they cancel out anyway. And we do have the specific volumes here. And V2 is also given. So we can actually find our um, inlet flow velocity. By direct substitution. Okay. V2 is 100 meters per second. V1 is 0. 0010017 oh, cubic meters per kilogram over this one. And these units cancel out. That should give us, um, let me put that in a calculator. Just to make sure we're correct. One point six seven two meters per second. And of course, using the continuity equation again, we know that the volume flow rate is the cross sectional area of our pipe multiplied by the velocity of flow. Our area is the area of a circle pi over 4 d squared 0 0.035 is here and of course our velocity of flow 1.672 meters per second 
and calculating for that we get 1.609 Times 10 to the negative 3 cubic meters per second. And we can convert this into liters by simply multiplying a thousand, since there's a thousand liters per cubic meter. And that would just cancel this out. So our answer is 1.609 liters per second. That's option D. That is our final answer. I hope this helped. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you next time.